Welcome to the Part Time Junior K's rendition of Little Red and her pesky little brother, Siki. Once upon a time, there was a nice family who lived in a neighborhood near the forest. In that family, there was a father, a mother, a little brother, and a big sister. The little brother was named Siki, and he was quite silly and mischievous. He was always up for adventure, and oftentimes would let his impulses get the best of him. The big sister was commonly known in their town as Little Red, as she always wore a red riding cloak. She was so sweet and brave. One day, mother and father received a phone call from grandma. <laughs> ring, 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 ring. Hello? May I speak to my dad? The bowl is for you, sweetheart. Hello, uh, how are you? I'm back to you. Uh, I'm a little bit of an egg and a little bit of a big gap. I don't know what I had cookie to help me feel better. I'm going to get a white bus on the way on the way. Bye, I love you. <laughs> Mother and Grandma hang up the phone, and Mother explains to Father that Grandma's not feeling very well, and she really wants some cookies to lift her spirits. Father suggests that Little Red take, big take her little brother along for the walk to get him out of the house and get some fresh air. Mother agrees, and Father calls the kids over to let them know the plan. Hey kids, come over. Fired. Dad, I was playing Sonic. What do you need? <laughs> <laughs> Little Red was much more polite with her response. Father explained that Grandma wasn't feeling well. Your Grandma's not female. She can really use some goods and a favorite and a visit from her favorite children. Siki said, You mean child? Mother explained <laughs> that they're both her favorite. They are all her favorite. Little Red thought it might be faster if she just went. Will this be faster if I go by myself? You know, Siki likes to wander. Siki was a little bit annoyed by that comment. How about you? How about you go and I'll stay here and play Sonic? Chase up! <laughs> Father explained that they both could use some fresh air. You will need some uh, some time to get in fresh air and time with her grandma. Mother told them that they would both go and reminded them to stay on the path. That's why you all would go. Just we would stay on the path all the way to grandma's house. Little Red was a little concerned that Siki may not stay with her. What if Siki doesn't stay with me? You know he likes to wander. That comment also annoyed Siki. <gasps> Give me a break. I'll be fine. <laughs> Mother and father explained how important it is to stay together because trouble could be found in the forest. The children promised to stay together and stay on the path to Grandma's house. Father hands Little Red a basket, and off the children went to Grandmother's house with the goodies. It was a beautiful sunny day, and the children were doing a really great job staying together on the path to Grandma's. Little Red was leading the way when she heard Siki excitedly scream that he saw Sonic. Jim, there's Sonic! <laughs> Before Little Red could stop him to explain that Sonic just couldn't be in the forest, he was already far off the path into the forest. Little Red ran after him. 
And when she finally came to him, she found him kneeling down, examining something on the forest ground. Little Red told him that it's not okay for him to run away. Seeky, you can't just run off like that. Seeky told her that he found something. You guys, you, you, you need to see this. <laughs> Little Red got closer, and she noticed that Seeky was staring down at a large footprint on the ground. See? I told you I saw Sonic. <laughs> Little Red did not think that was a Sonic footprint. That is not a Sonic footprint. Of course it is. Who else has big feet like this? Little Red thought Sonic wore shoes. Does Sonic wear shoes on his feet? Yes. Yes, he does. <laughs> Little Red noticed that that print did not have shoes. That print does not have shoes on them. It kind of looks like a big dog. Seeky tried really hard to persuade his sister that it had to be a Sonic print when he noticed several other prints ahead of it. He stood up and started to follow the prints. <laughs> Well, Little Red tried to urge him back to the path, but he kept on going until... Wah! <laughs> <laughs> but in the world, you're not Sonic. No, I am Red, the big bad wolf. <laughs> Sticky thought he had bad breath. Ugh, all that big bad breath. <laughs> <laughs> Little Red told him that they had to get back to the path to Grandma's. We better get back to the pasture grandma's house. Grandma, did you the old lady down the street? <gasps> Who you called an old lady? <laughs> <laughs> Little Red stopped her brother and told them. To stop. And explained that they needed to go. That's Mr. Wolf, that's her. We better get back. Little Red grabbed her brother by his arm and started to pull him toward the path. Stop right now! Because it's just something you fell your deceit. You did that half of the time. Half the time? Seeky thought they should go that way. How about we go that way? The sooner we get home, the sooner we get to play with video games. <laughs> Little Red wanted to follow Mother and Father's rules, but by this time, she knew Grandma was already worried about where they were. So they decided to take the wolf's advice and take the shortcut. Meanwhile, while the siblings were taking the shortcut, Big Bad Wolf hurried to the path up to Grandmother's house. When he got to Grandma's house, he knocked at the door. More party. The wolf barged in! There you old, old, old lady. You know how much time some dinner time can be a retired. The big bad wolf continued to push and lock Grandma into the closet. Grandma screamed. <laughs> <laughs> At this time, the big bad wolf looked for some clothes to disguise himself as grandma. He found a nightdress and an old pair of eyeglasses and got pretty well disguised so that he could look just like her. Once he was ready, he got into her bed and waited for the children to arrive. Moments later, the children arrived at Grandma's house. They knocked on the door. Come in, my daddy. <laughs> Little Red and Seeky went in the house, and Little Red explained that they were there with some goodies. Grandma, why are you there with some goodies? Little Red noticed that she really was awfully sick. She didn't understand why she was so hairy. <laughs> Seeky said. Uh, why do you look so hairy? 
carry. <laughs> <laughs> the big bad then, wolf said, Uh, this tongue, this your tongue is all an A. <laughs> Little Red noticed this that everything only. seems bigger. <laughs> Even her eyes. Why are her eyes so big, Grandma? Better to see you, my dear. Why are her ears so big? Better to hear you, my dear. <laughs> and then Siki noticed her huge teeth. Why do your teeth look, look so big? Better to eat you, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> At the moment, the big bad wolf just The children scream and run for the door. Luckily, big, strong lumberjacks were nearby and heard them screaming and came to the rescue. The two strongest lumberjacks grabbed that wolf by the arms, and the other two stood guard to protect the children. Lumberjack Wesley said, I'm glad we were in the neighborhood. <laughs> Lumberjack Ranger said, That's close. <laughs> Lumberjack Everett was quite annoyed and said, Oh, this guy again! <laughs> <laughs> Big bad wolf. Oh, you always catch me. Lumberjack Ronan said, That's a close one. <laughs> it was very apparent that the Big Bad Wolf was a local trickster and that the lumberjacks were used to his tactics. At this time, the lumberjacks found a large bag of yeast in Grandma's pantry. They grabbed the bag and poured it down the big bad wolf's mouth. Lumberjack Wesley said, that should hold you for a while. Everett told him to leave everyone alone. Leave everyone alone. Or next time we won't be sung. Everett, er, Granger said. Uh, uh, yeah, next time we'll use the hot sauce. No! <laughs> yes! And off went that big bad wolf back into the forest, shaking with fear and with a big full belly. <laughs> <laughs> Little Red found Grandma in the closet. She brought her out, and all the grandkids and Grandma had a group hug. <laughs> they had a group hug and then invited the lumberjacks to sit down and have a cookie. Grandma passed out the cookies. Oh, I call you Hunter. <laughs> but your name is Granny. <laughs> Nana. <laughs> Grandma gave everybody a cookie. And the lumberjacks gobbled them up. Well, I think I got double the cookies today. Look at this. When the lumberjacks were done eating their cookies, they went on their way. I already I already know. The lumberjacks went on their way. <laughs> Grandma told the children that today they learned a very important lesson to follow their parents' instructions and to never talk to strangers, even if they thought they were finding Sonic. And then she sent them back on their way and reminded them to stay on the path. Stay on the path. <laughs> the children got up and went on their way back home. When they arrived at home, their parents met them at the door. They all shared a great big group hug. And mother and father explained to the children how happy they were to see them safe and sound. And father asked them, They learned a lesson? 
Little Red said she was just happy to be home. I'm happy to be home. Me too. And they shared another group hug. The <laughs> end. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.